Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Let's see if we can find where Emmett ran off to. I'm surprised I didn't fall down the pit when I went up past that first uh, ledge there. But here we are. Oh, there we go. Wow, that was easy. I'll take a wild guess, Zidane. I don't think there's any other humans around here. Uh, assuming that uh, everyone here is human. I mean, heck, he's got... Look at his skin. It's blue. I don't know what the hell he is. Hey, how's it going? Well, so? You, you were my enemy the first time we met. That didn't stop us from teaming up. Weirdo. Big nose. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we gotta have more party members! Well, you're a uh, obedient servitude, but other than that. What happened, anyway? I don't think they ever explain what happened to Amran. Was he just, like, sitting down on the job, waiting to see if Zidane would come and find him? Or did he get beaten up by some monsters or something like that? I don't think they ever say. I mean, not, I would guess he got beaten down by some monsters. I mean, Amran by himself... Uh, He's really more of a support character, even though he's like a monk. You know, you'd figure he'd be DPS, but he's really a lot better, you know, with Chakra to support Kina and everything. Speaking of Kina, I need to learn a new blue magic spell, so I'll just meet you guys uh, outside here then. All right, we made it out in one piece. So, what's that music, Zidane? Oh, well, I guess it kind of sounds like the music in the castle there. Maybe they changed it since we disarmed all the traps there. But anyway, we got Amaranth back. Hooray! And we got all these four mirrors here. Hmm. Wonder why Zidane's the only one that can read that. Well, I'm, I'm sure it's not important. But anyway, yeah. Remember those four locations on the map, viewers. It's kind of important there. I'm not entirely sure what the point of all that is, but well, we'll find out. Oh, okay. So yeah, we got to go to each of those four locations there. What is that? Hmm. Maybe he just wanted to join the Three Musketeers, but they didn't like it because he kept on eating everyone. Okay, so let's head on over to, uh... Oh! All at once! How are you going to pull that one off? Oh! Okay, a split party scenario! I like it! Just like Final Fantasy VI? Let's find out! Well, you don't want to put the two white mages together! How are we going to get any healing, then? Besides, your summons would be fighting each other all the time. Fighting for Zidane. Besides, I want some of Dagger's delicious booty in my party. Which location would that be? The Shrine of the Silver Monkey. No, no, not, not that one. Uh, it's a water shrine. So that's the first one we got to go to. And I'm pretty sure you have to go in order. You can't just go to whichever one you want. So, well, there we go. Okay, let's go. And uh, Well, before heading over to the Water Shrine, I have a new blue magic spell that I want to learn. So, let's get these four together. It doesn't particularly matter who you bring with you now, I guess. But, uh, yeah, let's uh, land here. And now I'll bring in Kina and learn the, the final blue magic spell for him. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. Uh, don't worry about what you've got equipped. It doesn't really matter. Uh, one nice thing about learning this blue magic spell is you can meet up with veteran right in the first room. So you can just make a quick shot in and out, find the veteran, learn it, get out. So that's what I'm going to do. If I can't find it on the first try, well, I'll find it off screen. All right, there we go. Found it. Veteran. It's got just a little under 7,000 HP, so... You gotta be careful with how much damage we're gonna deal to the guy. Uh, let's start with uh, Kamehameha. I mean, no mercy there. And let's see. Frog Drop. Let's give that a try. The thing with Frog Drop. Wow, that's not bad. Uh, frog Drop deals damage based on the number of frogs and your frogs that you've caught, and a little bit with your level too. So, okay, uh, that should be enough damage. Yeah, a little over five thousand there. Uh, maybe try to steal something else from the guy while we're at it. Why not? Please don't kill him. What did that do? 
That didn't seem to do much of anything. Huh! Well, there we go. Eat! 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 Yes! We learned Doom does what you think it does. It gives them a countdown, and when it reaches zero, they die! Just like real life. Well, only when I reach zero, but... Well, anyway, we got the Blue Magic spell. Hooray! So let's see, uh, we should have every Blue Magic spell in the game now. So, not that much of it is useful, but most of it's pretty darn near useless. So, oh well, you take what you can get. Too bad I couldn't use Thievery to weaken Veteran down low enough or Holy or something like that. So, okay, well I'm going to take a moment to rearrange my equipment to tackle the four shrines. Uh, I'll have it listed in the video description there, and then we'll take off for victory! Okay, we're all set and ready to go. If you don't want to be spoiled of future events, don't look at the video description then yet. Well, don't look at it ever, but... Okay, so there's a water shrine, huh? It's a bit of a whirlpool there. Are there any mermaids at the water shrine? Let's find out! Well, there are now, but... You guys okay? Oh, well, yeah, I suppose not. Well, you got plenty of healing magic, so... I just don't trust Ico. Ha <laughs> Well, yeah, absolutely. Well, okay, I, I guess so. Where are we going? Huh, well, sounds like a plan. I wish they did more with Freya and Amarin together, you know? Like, they were talking there back at Trino, and now we're pairing them together to go after the Fire Shrine and everything like that. Uh, you know, I mean, I just wish they did a little more with them. I mean, obviously, Freya is still... Well, there's Fratley there, but... I don't know, maybe they could have done a little love triangle or something. I don't know, but whatever. Uh, something with them, you know? Or maybe not so much a, a love triangle or a romantic thing, but I don't know. What could they have done with them? I don't know, sort of like build on the mutual respect that they kind of have for each other. Yeah, you know, they have the, uh, the fight scene, or well, it wasn't a fight scene, but... You know, they got into a little scuffle at the beginning of uh, Disc 3 there, you know. They could have done a little more with them, but eh, it's okay. There's so much depth to the characters, too, and yet I still want more. <laughs> they can never do enough, I guess. Oh, well, that's okay. We're just going to uh, drop you guys off right in the volcano? Joe versus a volcano? No. No, just these two. We got a rat. <laughs> Sorry, I went past that line a little quickly. You said uh, you wanted to pair up with Ico. <laughs> uh, tornado, huh? <laughs> well, yeah. That's another thing that I wish they did. Paired up uh, Vivi and Steiner more. That's just the thing with Steiner. Is that until you get... Let's go for... Uh, Doug, where are they? Until you get uh, the Ragnarok for Steiner... He's really not that good, because he doesn't have shock. You know, I mean, what does he have before then? None of his knight techniques, like, deal damage, really. I mean, you got, like, armor break, but, I mean, they did a much better job of that in Final Fantasy X. But, you know, I mean, I just... We, and Siner just got so little screen time in... Uh, oh, there's the wind shrine. Right there. Uh, just take my word for it, there's wind blowing out of the cave there, or where the shrine is. You can't get in because of the wind. But yeah, I mean, Steiner's just not really that good during battle, you know? And I wish they did more with Vivi and Steiner together, because, like, aside from the very beginning with the two of them, I haven't used magic swords since, you know? Yeah, I'm Steiner, captain of the Knights of Pluto. <laughs> I like how Vivi just kind of falls back without doing anything. North Ho! Well, sure they'll be okay. Ha! <laughs> You're with Kina. Well, if you haven't gotten any blue magic for Kina, well, you screwed! Ha! <laughs> now, now we'll be fine. Uh, where do I want to go next, though? Uh, the Earth Shrine is somewhere on the Outer Continent, so let's head... Let's head to Magnet Central. That'll put us in somewhere in the general direction. But yeah, uh, some good blue magic to learn. Uh, Twister would be really nice. Uh, let's see, what's the other one? Bad Breath, that would also be pretty good. So, there's some good blue magic. I just, yeah, I wish they did more with that too. Just kind of reflecting all the characters all of a sudden for some reason. 
Eh, well, there we go. Uh, this would also be a good time to move and make a backup save state. Or save file, that is. Okay, there's the desert. Uh, ah, there it is. Okay, so where is that shrine? Right over there. Uh, so let's uh, hop off here and uh, I'll just make a backup save file and be right back. Alright, got my backup save file ready to go. The only way to get into the Earth Shrine, you have to fly there. Yeah, you see how it's shaking there? Yeah, you can't just walk right in there. So, <laughs> what did you expect? I love the music here. Uh, even though we just walk right in there, but yeah. Alright, let's go. Absolutely, Kina. I love you, man! Yeah, leftovers. Way to give him a backhanded... Well, that's not a backhanded compliment. That's an insult. Huh? What is that? <laughs> wow, way to think positive, Kina. Even though I just intentionally tried to insult you. But, well, there we go. Like I said, I love the music for this part. So, I'll probably be a little quiet here. Oh, that's a big lie, you know it, viewers. What's going on? Hmm? Well, yeah, you're in the Earth Shrine. What? Whoa! What did you expect there? I wonder what happens if you don't press the button in time there. Huh. Well, there we go. It's quiet. Too quiet. Huh? Oh. I suppose so. Yeah, likes it on. I suppose so. Whoa! Who is that? It's a trap! <laughs> like how Kina always compares things to food like that. <laughs> well, gee, you think? Whoa! Are those like blocks of wa ice or uh, uh, spheres of water, or balls of water, I guess? Oh, well, there we go. Well, that was easy. I wish they kind of made this into more of a dungeon, but, well, we've had enough dungeons now, so, whatever. Huh? Well, who's there? Huh. Well, I suppose not. I suppose they only sent someone to, uh, or Kujo only went to the, uh, Earth Shrine there. Huh. Huh? Whoa! Well, who's that? guy. Er, girl. She looks familiar. That guy. He looks familiar, too. I've seen these guys before. Oh, okay. We just want to break the seal. Oh, nuts. Yeah, what is Terra, anyway? You're not gonna tell us, are you? Nuts. Oh, well, yeah. We'll prove how powerful we are. We're gonna kick your ass. If you have an ass. Do snakes have an ass? I don't know how that would work out, but, uh... Well, we're gonna take her on anyway. Yeah! Uh, apparently, Amarin's having an introspective moment. We're gonna kick your ass and use our power to save the world! Ah, uh, the music's so epic! <laughs> And that guy looks familiar, too. All these guys look familiar. What about the water guy? I don't think we ever see the water guy in this scene. Or the water guardian. Huh. These guys remind me of some other guys from another from another game. Hmm. Your adventure ends here! How are you gonna do that? He's a flying dragon! Oh. Well, I suppose that could work. I trust you not to miss. With my life! Ha! <laughs> I like how they show him using the magic there. Oh, sorry, only one tail here. Uh, we, we would have brought Freya all along, but, you know, I wanted to have Kino with me. Well, yeah, that was kind of uh, the idea there. <laughs> well... We just want to go touring, that's all. <laughs> but can we defeat the four guardians of Terra? What awaits us there if we do? Will we make it in time before Kuja? 
find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!